Hey there, good morning everyone. Wednesday the 15th of November 2023. This morning's devotional is a reading from Matthew chapter 6 verse 27 which reads, Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? We've all heard of the saying, don't worry, be happy. This was also a popular song back in 1988 which was composed and sung by Bobby McFerrin, don't worry, be happy. Perhaps if we apply this to our lives, or if we do apply it to our lives, it could be deemed as irresponsible worry. But sometimes it is the better alternative. Don't worry, be happy. But here's the thing, something's coming. Doesn't it always feel like it? Maybe it's something financial, maybe work-related, maybe even health-related, but something definitely bad. We say we can feel it in our bones, and so we worry. I mean, it almost feels as if that is part of life, worrying about what is coming. We worry about all the bad things that could happen to us and to our loved ones. And then we scheme about how to get out in front of all these things. And then, to crown it all, we worry some more about whether we are actually strong enough to carry out our schemes. All this worrying hangs over our lives. It haunts our thoughts and steals important moments. Moments that should be filled with joy instead. But it would be irresponsible to wor- not to worry, wouldn't it? After all, we've been trained to worry all our lives. We've been taught that people with responsibilities are supposed to worry. It's part of life as we know it. Or is it? Jesus Christ teaches us that it is actually not. You see, he didn't come so that we'd live our lives haunted by fear. He came and died to set us free from such things. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 reads, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. The yoke of slavery in this instance is worry. He assures us that our Father God will take care of us whether we worry or not. And we can find that in Matthew 6 verse 26. So, we must therefore adopt a radical new mindset, one of, we don't know what's coming, but our Father God does, so we'll leave it to Him. Not reckless worry, just trust. My dear friends, how can we take action to prevent the worry from taking over our lives? Letting go of worry is tough. (laughs) It's not easy. We must approach it not only intellectually, but practically too. You cannot simply command yourself, do not worry or worry less. That by itself doesn't work, because you might worry, am I worrying less or am I worrying more? And then you worry about that worry that you're supposed to worry less. Anyway, it's really confusing. You must get practical by actually talking about your worries with a spouse or with a trusted friend. That does work. Getting your worries out into, out into the open is as powerful as it is counterintuitive. So my dear friends, let us give up worry as a bad habit because it just robs you of your joy. And rather, let us trust God for His grace, His love, His mercy and His provision. May the Lord be with you, may He bless you, may He cause His face to shine upon you, and be with you always. Goodbye.